Hey everyone, welcome to Medication Monday. This is where we go over a different EMT drug. We do it specifically in EMT drug card format. As always, follow your local protocol and scope of practice. Enjoy. Today's medication is called pralidoxime, and pralidoxime is most commonly referred to as its brand name, which is Tupam. There is another brand, Protopam, but you most commonly hear it out in the EMS field as Tupam. So if pralidoxime looks familiar, I have done a video about the Duodo auto-injector, and it includes pralidoxime, so some of this may be a little bit of a repeat. It falls under the class of cholinesterase reactivators and antidotes. The mechanism of action is that it reactivates the cholinesterase, and this allows for the destruction destruction of accumulated acetylcholine at the neuromuscular junction. And this results in the reversal of the respiratory paralysis and the paralysis of skeletal muscle. We use pralidoxine when we suspect organophosphate poisoning or nerve agent exposure or mushroom poisonings. And your dose, and before we get into it, always abide by your local protocol, stay within your scope of practice. The typical dose out in the EMS field is going to be 600 milligrams via intramuscular auto injector. And a pediatric dose is just not recommended. So your contraindications are going to be myasthenia gravis, inorganic phosphate poisoning, or known hypersensitivity to the drug. Adverse reactions can include headache, neuromuscular blockade, drowsiness, seizure, nausea, vomiting, hyperventilation, tachycardia, apnea. It is supplied in a 600 milligram in two milliliter solution. Typically it's in an auto injector with atropine as the other medication. So your drug interactions. You wanna avoid the use of pralidoxime in conjunction with saxicoline or other respiratory depressants. A few side notes about this medication. So this medication is only to be given in conjunction with atropine via an intramuscular auto injector. And the combination of atropine and pralidoxime is marketed under the brand names of Mark One Kit and the Duodo auto injector. Cardiac monitoring should be considered in all cases of organophosphate poisoning. So definitely put your patient on the monitor if at all possible. If the patient is seizing due to the poisoning, it is recommended to give a benzo like diazepine, Versed, or whatever your uh, ambulance service carries. Remembering the mnemonic sludge in identifying a case of organophosphate poisoning is crucial. So sludge stands for salivation, lacrimation, urination, defecation, uh, GI symptoms, and emesis. And if you haven't seen my video about that, I'll go ahead and link that up in the right hand corner. As always, guys, remember to abide by your local protocol and stay within your scope of practice. This is purely informational for those in the EMS field and never meant to be used in the place of medical direction, local protocol, or formal education. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next week. Bye.